Today I'm going to be showing you my Race Against Time Omnitrix prop by Ryan Gray. I'll be going over its design, fit, quality and also transforming into some aliens with it. Stick around to the end of the video to see this Omnitrix in action but first it's sponsor time. If you love free stuff and you love food then you're going to love Star Chef 2. Star Chef 2 is a free to download cooking and restaurant game where you can grow your own veggies and turn them into 200 delicious cuisines from all around the world. You can then serve these delicious dishes to your customers in your very own personal restaurant. Star Chef 2 even has its own community play mode where you can make friends, form teams and chat online. In these teams, you and your friends can then compete in tournaments and play versus players. Star Chef 2 really allows you to live out the chef life. Not only can you travel the world to places like Hawaii in search of exotic new magic ingredients for your restaurant, but you can also create your own unique food and music. Park. Building the restaurant of your dreams has never been more fun. You can customize and transform your diner from humble beginnings, upgrading all the way to a fully decorated fine dining restaurant. And if you're an animal lover like me, this game now has a feature that allows you to add cute animal themed cafes and showpieces like duck ponds and doggy houses. Download Star Chef 2 today for free and build your own awesome restaurant by clicking the link in the pinned comment below and you'll also get access to an exclusive in-game offer. The fit of this prop is just about perfect. My wrist is 20 centimeters in diameter at the markings Ryan provides and I ordered a size large. It fits snug around my wrist like it should and doesn't bounce around or move at all when wearing it in filming scenes. The quality for me is a 9 out of 10. The paint job and finish looks extremely realistic. There's no obvious 3D print lines and Ryan even threw in an extra unrestricted core for a bit of variation. I've only had one single problem with this prop and that is that the magnets that hold the two pieces of the watch together came out of their sockets after a few uses but this was quickly and easily repaired with glue and is no longer an issue. Now it's time to test this bad boy out. I'm going to add some VFX magic to this prop and go over some of its interfaces such as the default interface, self-destruct mode, recharge mode, and a few transformations. 